everyone, it's Akia from December's Divine 555. I'm here to bring you all the um, Taurus horoscope reading for this period. I hope everybody's doing well and I find you in peace. Either way, I'm sending you all of my loving blessings. Strength and encouragement. All right. Um, like I said, this is going to be the horoscope reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you don't know your astrological natal placements, there will be a link in the description below to help you figure out those placements because those are pretty essential to getting a full picture of um, what's going on for you, astrologically speaking. This reading may not resonate with every Taurus. And if it doesn't, it's a good idea to check out the other signs, especially your rising, your moon, as the moon relates to your emotions. And also Venus is important because Venus really embodies your emotion, your how you relate in love and in finances, okay? So that being said, I just want to kind of focus on the meditative energies that I've picked up for the sign of Taurus, okay? I have my sage going because I'm picking up on blockages and I'm picking up on delays in major decisions, okay? I feel like Taurus, your ruler is Venus, okay? Venus is the planet of love and finances. But my Tauruses, you guys are a fixed sign, okay? A lot of the fixed signs are going through it during this period with Pluto in retrograde, Saturn in retrograde. Pluto is the planet of secrets. Scorpionic energy. A Scorpio is a fixed sign as well, a fixed water sign. Um, Mercury is in retrograde. And with Mercury being in retrograde, it is forcing a lot of past actions and decisions to be reviewed again. And that is causing a lot of backtracking and uncertainties. And Taurus, you guys are fixed and also very practical and not too open with your emotions so the retrograde is probably throwing you guys off your rocker momentarily but regardless of that you guys really during this period are going to be forced to make some major decisions about your life in regards to love and finances and career okay I went ahead and just pulled your guys's overall energy for the reading but we're gonna get into that after 
we do your overall oracle messages, which the tarot reading is going to bounce off of that energy and bring it all together for you guys, okay? But off the top, you got the magician, mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini. Taurus, you could be embodying this energy during the Mercury retrograde, or this could be um, representing um, someone in your life, Virgo or Gemini. Remember, the energies are reversible, time is fluid, and um, the energies that I pick up could be that of the Taurian or someone that the Taurian is um, dealing with in their life right now. I could also be talking to the cross watcher. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're watching this reading to get information on a Taurus, you would be considered a cross watcher. But since you are viewing this video and this reading during this time, it's very possible that the messages that I'm picking up could be directed to you, the cross watcher. Okay, so mercurial energy here, um, Virgo or Gemini with the magician. In reverse, we'll get into the particulars of this magician in reverse once we start the reading. Taurus, you guys got judgment. The astrological correspondent to the judgment card is Pluto. All right. Secrets. Scorpionic energy. And then the Ace of Wands. Fire energy. Sagittarius Leo Aries. But it's in reverse, so that's an indication of delays. Okay, Taurus. And the overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands. So... Major crossroads, decisions that need to be made. All right, let's get an oracle card <clears throat> for my lovely Torians. I really do relate to Torian energy. I am a Sagittarius sun. I actually have a Sagittarius stellium in my first house. I have Sag and Venus. I'm sorry, I have Venus and Sag. I have Neptune and Sag. And I have the sun in Sagittarius, my first house. A stellium is when you have three or more signs in one house. But I have a Taurus moon. So when it comes to emotions, as a Sagittarius, having a Taurus moon really does balance out some of my more sunny, light, philosophical, broad idealisms. And um, having a Taurus moon really does ground me. But that need for stability and material Um, comforts and that need for control in love and in finances is very prevalent. So I can relate to you guys. Alright, my, my Torians, what oracle card can we get for overall energies for Taurus? Two came out. But I'm just gonna, I just want one. Divine Source, All Knowing Source, Divine Spirit, Ancestors 5D and above, Archangels, Ascendant Masters 5D and above. Please allow me to be the channel for truthful 
precise and clear blessed messages for the sign of Taurus. Overall energy for Taurus. Overall energy for Taurus. One card, please. Okay, we got I advance through my own abilities. I advance through my own abilities. I advance through my own abilities for my Torians. This card is number 41, breaks down to five. Five is a number of divine change. The universe may be stepping in for you guys during this period. And we are going to read this for you guys. Overall energy. I advance through my own abilities. Sin. Contextually speaking, relates to the action of an immoral transgression against divine law. Not a law that has been created. But a law that has been embodied by the creator. Mayat serves the capstone of the moral pyramid of the soul. Her all-seeing eye with the crystalline vision into the spirit of the temple of the human soul. Sin as an action is to be without, to be out of alignment with creation, to lack honor and honesty and deviate from divine, divine will. But what is the will of the divine? Hermeticism speaks of the nation, I'm sorry, of the notion of all truths being half false and every falsehood being half truth. This can be seen and understood when looking at the devil card and the lovers in the Rider Waite system of tarot. At first glance, one may view the devil card as the representative of the representation of pure evil, darkness, and all things relating to fear. But upon close, closer examination, we find that while related to the denser qualities of the life experience, the true meaning of the card is what we allow to bind us to lesser worlds. The devil with the inverted pentagram represents forcing will into existence by inverting natural law. The chains worn around the neck of the man and the woman standing underneath the devil's throne are loose enough for either of them to take off at any time, yet out of fear they remain shackled. Their desires have inverted their natural instincts and the inherent wisdom of love as the fuel of the divine and the vehicle with which you may journey into any desire, as long as it is rooted in true wisdom of the heart. The lovers is the opposing card of the devil. And while some may interpret this card as the notion of lovers in the sense of a romantic relationship, metaphorically speaking, it relates to the alchemical force that radiates in your actions and desires. When love takes precedence over fear and wisdom is the primary desire, manifestation fluidly materialize with ease as the light of the sun radiates vision into the path ahead.
However, if a desire is based in love, then we are in tune with nature's song, the will of Nayat, the likeness of being, and the visionary state of virtue. The infinite expansion of imagination allows for heaven on earth, and as we find faith in our own abilities, love being the will of the divine, creating being the soul expressed in such a way that allows every spirit to soar toward freedom with a feather heart liberated from fear of judgment. When a desire is fear-based, it may cause sinful actions, which as lies, deceit, cheating, and the use of darker forces, which ultimately stain the spirit, weigh down the heart, and lose the light of divinity, divine harmony, and the void of ego's needs for validation. Wow, this really correlates to a karmic reading I did recently. And the idea of free will and the idea of being bound by choices. This card is just letting you guys know, and it goes really well with that overall energy for your reading. The Magician in Reverse, Judgment, and the Ace of Wands in Reverse. Whew, it's a little bit heavy. That's why I lit my sage in the beginning of the reading. Just feeling like there's a little bit of a stagnant energy here. A bit of dark energy. This card, Oracle card, comes as a reminder about intentions and about fears. Reevaluate your actions. And know that our choices bind us and keep us in fear. Light always overshines dark, but the illusion of fear is very powerful to the mind and it will force you to stay shackled. until you learn to look within and break free of those lower vibrational energies, okay? There is light and dark in all of us. It's all about finding the balance and listening to the will of the divine. Okay, one more card and then we're gonna jump into our reading. One more card hard for our Venus Roll Torians. We'll just take one. Connecting with the living water. The sea belongs to him for he made it his hands formed the dry land too connecting with the living water water is purifying It's time to free yourself of past pains, to be light again, to really go within the depths of your emotions. Dolphins indicate intelligence, playfulness, remembering who you are, using your gifts for positivity and not dark. Connect with the living water. Connect with the living water.
connect with the living water to see if there's anything else on this card. guys I just wanted to go a little bit deeper into this card but yeah like I said I definitely get that it's time to really break through those fear-based illusions and really find purity again within your your soul within your choices within your actions, within your relationships, within your mind. should have a table of contents okay there is a deep sense of peace when you are next to a large body of water like the sea specifically it has been shown that negative ions in, are present which have a positive effect on our well-being Jesus said that he would give us living water to quench our thirst as the Holy Spirit flowing through us. God, just as God's Spirit refreshes us, so too do the, fear, the physical waters. Sometimes it's good to clear our thoughts and feelings. And a great way to do this is by visiting the sea. After all, water is connected to the emotions. Contemplating by the water and being fully present helps us to relax and focus on the messages and guidance that God is sending us. Have you become overwhelmed by emotion late recently? If so, it might be a good idea for you to go to the beach or a lake. Watching a video of the waves or listening to a recording of ocean sounds can also be helpful. A sea salt bath is another wonderful way to relax and open your heart to a healing conversation with the Holy Spirit or whatever it is that you do to center around yourself or whoever you connect with spiritually. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains. The sea belongs to him for he made it. His hands formed the dry land too. Reconnect with yourself, Taurus. We all have a past, we all have a shadow side. It's all about balance. And at this point, we are gonna jump right into your reading. We're already at 23 minutes. So. magician in reverse okay the magician in reverse so right off the bat okay lack of confidence powerlessness the magician upright indicates you know, confidence, skill, power. This is mercurial energy. This is um, Virgo or um, Gemini energy. 
you could be embodying this energy Taurus or this could be someone in your life you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini if you're not dealing with a Virgo or Gemini then this definitely and we're not doing divine masculine divine feminine readings here this is just um, a horoscope reading for the sign of Taurus but this also indicates a divine masculine card as well um, but Taurus this could be you you know dealing with the darker energies of yourself um, trying to manifest something in your life whether it's love or finances um, or someone could be doing some sort of work um, in regards to manifesting um, or attracting you um, this card indicates um, control uh, t tampering with free free will um, and this goes well with the Oracle card. I advance through my own abilities, talking about, you know, being bound, um, comparing the devil card and the lover's card. Okay. The same way, having fear-based thoughts and, um, can lead to choices that we make, which put us in lower vibrational energy, which then in turn cause us to have illusions of being bound okay so yes that's the magician in reverse you also got judgment this card is the course correspondent i'm sorry the Ast mercury retrograde has me all jumbled up today but the astrological correspondent to the judgment card is pluto and pluto is the sign of secrets scorpionic energy so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or embodying this energy. The judgment um, deals with, this could definitely be um, the cosmos, you know? Placing judgment on you at this time, Taurus for previous actions. This could be a, a, a literal legal case or some sort of settlement or um, impending uh, trial. But this could also indicate a rebirth, some sort of renewal or some sort of new phase um, or transformation in your life or that of someone that you're dealing with. And lastly, Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, indicating in reverse that there are some delays, um, endings, and you Taurus, I'm sorry, Taurus, you guys may be feeling um, a little unmotivated and impatient about whatever's going on in your current situation, okay? It looks like there's a lot of karma, there are secrets coming out, and there are some darker energies. In your current circle, during this time, with the magician in reverse. So we're gonna clarify the magician here. Clarify the magician for Taurus, please. Why is the magician here in the current energy? Why is the magician here? Just wanted one card, but... Okay. The magician is here because... Someone is trying to create illusions.
this could be you or your person Taurus of course the energies are revert are, are interchangeable so take whatever resonates but the magician is here like I thought like there is some manipulation going on um whether it's just on your part or their part whether it's just manipulation about circumstances in the 3d or whether it's somebody literally doing some sort of like um dark work mind control um things of that nature okay five of cups in reverse more water energy here this is all water energy um pisces cancer scorpio pisces i mean a taurus you could be dealing with someone with heavy you know water placements you or someone is trying to create illusions because Someone in the past has been a part of a third party situation, whether that's you um, or your person. Their offer, offer of love was rejected and someone wants forgiveness. Someone is really um, hurt and, you know, not wanting to accept the fact that something is over. And they're trying to prevent someone from moving forward. So this is why the magician is in your current energy. Clarify judgment, please. Divine spirit, clarify judgment. Clarify judgment. Two of wands. you definitely can be dealing with a water or fire sign clarifying the judgment and you know moving forward whether it's you or your person someone is wanting freedom someone is um going through some karma and someone is going through a rebirth and someone wants to be free and this was the overall meditative energy for your reading the two of wands someone is ready to make a move they're looking out to something new and they have really made a decision to take action Okay. Which is very contradictory to the Ace of Wands. The Magician, Judgment, and the Ace of Wands, meaning that there is some manipulation going on because of someone's decisions to move forward. And that manipulation is causing delays. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Whew. Devil. Capricorn energy here. We were just talking about 
the devil and it representing bondage or a fear-based illusions creating the illusion of two souls being bound together and not being able to break free from the ties that bind okay and you know this really is deep because with the magician and the ace of wands in reverse here and now the devil in reverse i really do feel like there is some you know work being done and some manipulation being done heavily around you guys taurus okay i'm not sure if this is you know your energy or someone in your life that's close to you um but take the energy how it resonates but there's definitely some manipulation and some darker energy around you okay so the devil in reverse of course like i said the astrological correspondence to the devil is saturn we all know that saturn is in retrograde saturn is the planet of karma okay so there is already a lot of karma going around you do have the judgment card upright here okay any sort of work being done that sort of thing you it's going to create more karma so if this is being done to you just know that you will be protected and um just take the energies however they resonate but there's definitely some manipulation going on here If you're embodying this energy, Taurus, it's time to really figure out what's holding you back and figure out why it is that you feel as though you can't move forward, why it is that you feel as though you can't passionately move on from your situation. Look at your actions of the past, look at the actions of those around you and realize, is it can you really not move forward or are you bound by your your fears or are you bound by your past that's your current energy What is the major conflict for Taurus right now? What is the major conflict? Major conflict for Taurus. Major conflict for Taurus, please. What's the major conflict for my Taurians? My major conflict for my Taurians during this period. You got strength. Leo energy, you got the star Aquarius energy. You got the pa the page of swords, more air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You or someone is keeping a very close eye out. Someone is stalking you Taurus or you are doing the stalking you're keeping a very close eye on someone this could be in love this can be at work but you know the page of swords is um indicates someone taking a very close look keeping close tabs this could also indicate a message coming through but in reverse it could mean that there's not a lot of communication happening but there is just things happening behind the scenes this is the current conflict okay someone is having doubts 
there's no clarity and hasty action is being taken. You also got the tower in your current energy. And with the tower coming out with the star and the strength card, the tower is Mars energy, Scorpionic energy. Aries energy. Now with the tower in reverse, this tower moment could have already happened okay but somebody is in denial and they're making very fear-based choices with the magician in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse someone is refusing and avoiding the truth okay but with judgment in your overall energy the secrets are coming out so whether this is an Aquarius or someone with Aquarius placements or Leo or someone with Leo placements or this is you embodying this energy with the Tower in reverse and the Page of Swords in reverse, someone is very irritated. Someone is um, going through a lot of karma. But Sometimes tower moments are placed in your life by the divine to put a stop to something that you have ignored and had the opportunity to change but didn't. So the universe steps in to end it before it gets even worse and it gives you the opportunity to rebuild your life, okay? The star, in the star is not in reverse, I'm sorry indicates having the ability to look past chaos as you are entering a new phase in your life trying to help you connect with who you really are and your goals. You don't have to take matters into your own hands with manipulation or those around you. Like I said, the energies are reversed. The universe wants you to find the strength that you need. Like I said, Leo energy here to persevere. To find your inner calm and the courage that you need to find peace and to find that control within yourself and not feel that you have to be in control and I know that's a Taurian habit wanting to be in control very fixed energy Leo is a fixed energy as well let the divine work in your life And realize that your choices, your choices really do affect the alignment of your manifestation abilities. Four 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 was on the clock right now. Four 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 is all about stability and manifestation, security.
allow the divine to work into your life and so that you can find true alignment without manipulation just true faith in the divine and looking within I just want to clarify the tower. Clarify the tower, please. Clarify the tower. Death. Stop fighting the transformation. There could be someone in your life um, embodying the scorpionic energy, someone going through some sort of awakening or transformation. Let them renew their life. You cannot have control over another person. Everyone has free will, including yourself. Or someone in your life may be trying to control you. Or both of you could be bound to a situation based on fear and past choices to each other, even though you want to be free or to transform or renew your life. You already had the devil out in your um, current energy. I'm sorry, you already had the devil out in your conflict. No, no, the devil came out to clarify your current energy. Um, and the devil comes in after death. But in between death and the devil is temperance. So... I think what's definitely missing for you guys is balance, okay? But the divine is here. Already you have five major arcana, okay? You have to let go so that you can find that balance. Let yourself transform. Okay, what actions should my Torians take during this period? No. Two of Wands again. Double confirmation. Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Empress. Okay. All right, Taurus, we finally got some wands. We already had the um, two of wands clarifying the judgment card. You got the two of wands in your meditative energy for the reading. And now you have two of wands in your actions. Okay, fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, it's time to take decisive action in your life. Or someone is that's in your life has decided to take some decisive action that you're going to just have to accept or vice versa Queen of Wands in reverse you have the ability to take action in any and all circumstances in your life Taurus, you are earth, you're grounded, you're stable. You like to feel that way. Okay. This is fire energy, queen of wands, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. We're finally getting some action. We had a lot of um, water energy and um, earth energy so far. And a lot of major arcanas because there is, a you know, a little bit of dark energy that's surrounding you guys especially in your current energy right now so for the action you need to take during this period we have some action cards okay two of wands and now the um ace 
I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Unfortunately, in reverse, it's like you guys are not following your intuition. You're stunning your own growth and creativity and passion by fighting the universe, by ignoring your intuition, by trying to control circumstances in your life. You have to get out of your old ways of thinking. You have to elevate past some of the lower vibrational um, people in your lives or maybe some of the shadow, more a shadow aspects, aspects of yourself. Get over jealousies, aggression, and domineering ways. Because this is going to stunt you from being able to move forward. Okay? And finally, in your action, you got the Empress. Okay, this is your energy, Taurian energy, Divine Feminine energy. Taurus, let go of the past, let go of control, follow your intuition, but in a higher vibration. Or don't allow those low vibrational energies to control your life or your actions. Whether you're trying to control someone else's decisions or vice versa. Either way, you will not be able to manifest what it is that you want in your life which is what the Empress embodies, birthing new ideas, harvesting, manifesting, abundance. And that being said, if you do let go of some of that control and some of the fear-based choices that you're making, then you will be able to possibly see clearer, make better de decisions and choices for your life, and in turn, be able to embody this energy of the Empress. Okay, we're gonna get some advice from the Divine. Divine Source, what advice do we have for our lovely Torians? Advice for Taurus, please. Whoa. Okay. All right. Knight of Cups in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to pain. Taurus, you're holding on to the fact that there was a Knight of Cups, possibly a Scorpionic Cancer or Pisces energy or someone with those placements who didn't give you love, who didn't respect you or the love that you gave or vice versa. You know, with the Magician in Reverse in your current energy and the karma that's going on and the illusions, someone may have tried to manipulate you and hold on to you because they weren't getting the love that they deserved. Either way, there's a darker vibration here and there's a bondage that's happening that you need to release yourself from. Four Pentacles is holding on. Let go. The Divine is telling you to rest. Four of Swords. Take a time out. Meditate. Go within. And regroup and make some different choices in your life that are going to be for your greater good. Let go of toxicity and get to know yourself all over again, like in the beginning. 
connect with living water. It's time to purify your soul, yourself, and your conscience. Page of Pentacles. Earth energy. Your energy, Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You do have some things to look forward to, okay? New beginnings. Opportunities. Manifestation can be yours when you decide to... Put yourself first, focus on self-love, stop trying to control and manipulate the situation, and move forward with your life. Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? There has been some betrayals. There has been some conflict and losses. There has been some hurtful communication. There has been deception, but it's time to start taking responsibility for your actions. Accept the challenges in your life that you have come up against and commit yourself to changing. Commit yourself to, you know, loving yourself and to facing the things of your life. Okay, we got judgment in your overall energy. And we have confirmation again with judgment, okay? Like I said, Pluto is the corres astrological correspondence to judgment secrets, okay? It's time to release the secrets. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. Release the secrets of your past. Revisit childhood traumas. Love on your inner child. And if there have been actions of your past that you aren't happy with, it's okay, it's time to face your judgment, deal with your karma, move forward. So, that you can be renewed. Judgment shows up. When it is time for self-evaluation, you are at a crux for reaching a new life and must purge those things that would hinder you from being renewed. Taurus will end this. With your energy here. Balance out your shadow side and your light side. Embody the Empress. Time to ascend to a higher calling. The universe has your back. We have nine major arcana here, so you're protected. And the choice is up to you. Which way are you going to go? Okay, Taurus, that's all I have for you for your horoscope reading for this period. If the reason the reading resonated with you in any way, please like or subscribe. Leave your comments. Give advice to each other. That's what it's all about. The, re the reading may not have resonated with every Torian out there. That's why it's a general reading. Um, if you have questions, feel free to email me. 
all my information is in the description below. If you'd like a personal reading, contact me and we can definitely work on that. There are dark days and nights every day of the year. Life can be very difficult. But just know that in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, remember, you'll be fine. Nothing can stop what's truly divine. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye.